World Swimming's governing body has passed a new policy that will effectively ban transgender women from competing in women's events. The organization calls it a gender inclusion policy. News for Jack Sports anchor Jamal St. Cyr is joining us with details on the change and reaction from a local Olympian who's been involved in this issue. Jamal? That's right. She says she's encouraged by the rule change and now wants to see some other sports follow suit. On no, Sunday, FINA, the World Swimming's governing sport. body passed a new gender inclusion policy. The policy restricts the participation of transgender athletes in women's events and will look to create an open competition category. The decision most immediately impacts pin swimmer Leah Thomas, who became the first transgender NCAA champion in Division I history when she won the women's 500-yard freestyle back in March. FINA's new gender inclusion policy will only permit swimmers who transition before the age of 12 to compete in women's events. Local Olympian Nancy Hogshed Makar has been involved in the issue and says she's encouraged by this ruling. I agree that trans women are women for all purposes, meaning the classroom and the the um, uh, employment and family law and public accommodations, etc. But when it comes to sport, you cannot deny biology and facts. And the facts say that. Men and women are so different, different enough that in order to give girls and women an equal opportunity to participate, they need their own team. Other sports have been examining no, their rules around transgender swim. athletes. On Thomas last week, Cycling's governing body updated its eligibility rules for transgender athletes with stricter limits that will force riders to wait longer before they can compete. Kent, Mary.